All right, know the face, know the name. KNGZ, hashtag RKA. Yeah, like and support the channel. Follow us on SoundCloud for all the new exclusive sounds and whatnot that we have currently. You know, keep watching the speeches, keep watching the videos and stuff like that. I'm here to go straight in with this one. No dilly dally. You know, don't talk from script, nothing like that. Straight motivational speech type shit. You know, uncut, raw. We'll have strong language. Hence why you heard me say the word shit before. You know, if you're easily offended, if you don't like it, you know to click off this video right now, currently, as you're watching or listening to it on the screen or elsewhere. Let's go straight in. You know, I really want to tackle um, these, as I call it, 2015 London Olympic Hood Games regarding, you know, making this money together, regarding, you know, grinding and all this kind of shit, even just work in general, whatever it is, whatever source of, you know, income or whatever kind of thing you do to generate your money. You know, it's not my business. I'm just here to speak on it for the people that understand that. Guys and girls, you know, if you hate me for it, Fuck you. If you want to beef me for it, what well, comes with it, I don't really give a shit. You know, don't shoot the messenger, but if you see me as a problem for just trying to help people and trying to help your life, you know, fuck you, man. Do what you want to do, man. I don't give a shit. I'm doing what I do, you know what I'm saying? But let's get straight into it, man. Really and truly, I want to know, when is this bullshit going to end, man? Like, when are these games going to end? When is the the foolishness going to end? Are you guys... Like, I've made how many parts to this shit? Now? I've made, like, three parts to it. This is, like, the fourth one in audio format. You know, like, when's it going to end? Are you guys actually going to start working together now? Are you going to stop playing games and trying to fuck with a nigger and, you know, like, like trying to uh, uh, deceive a nigger and shit and, you know, like, just try to mess up a nigger's finances, mess up a nigger's progress, not work with a nigger 50-50, try to pull a little stunt, try to pull a little scheme. You're going to keep doing that? And, like, how long are you going to keep doing that bullshit for, man? Like, the time is ticking. You know, the clock's ticking in this shit. The clock's ticking, man. Like, you can't keep doing this bullshit forever and think you're going to amount to something and think that you're going to go somewhere because you're really not. There's only, like, more or less... There's two... There's one main outcome. Not even two. There's, like, one main outcome for this shit. More time, you get yourself killed for your garbage, man. Real fucking talk, man. Sooner or later. You know what I mean? You're not going to get no happiness out of this. You're not going to get no respect, no street credibility or credibility within yourself as a man woman i don't care who's doing it fucking alien starfish you know what i'm saying you ain't gonna get nothing out of this man these games have to end it comes to a point where it gets ridiculous it comes to a point don't you ever get like something that ever pops in your mind and thinks to yourself you know what i've got to do things properly now you know what like, i actually have to sit down here and you know conduct the business deal or conduct whatever you know how it's supposed to be conducted how i display it and do what i'm supposed to do do you understand where I'm coming from? Like, don't you ever get that? Like, don't, don't you have parents or anything like that that are religious, go to church, go to mosque, you know, talk to you about when you was young or whatever, as a child, being a good person, trying to help someone and shit like that. Did you forget all of that shit? So do you have to keep trying to rob, keep trying to destroy, keep trying to fuck up a person's life? That, do you have to keep doing that? And the thing is, yeah, I understand people that do it because they've got a reason and they have no choice to do it. Like, there's this guy called... um. Fazzy Faz on um, Facebook, on it, like big salute to him, shouts to him. Watch his YouTube. I think it's Faz One. I'm not sure. You know, add him on Facebook. Faz, I know it's Defo Faz. You know, he's on Snapchat. Everything. That's a big shout out to him, innit? So if you're hearing this, yeah, that's a shout out to you from King Straight. Yeah, yeah, I admire your work, innit? And I respect what you're doing. So keep doing it. You know, you're, you're preaching the truth, innit? So keep saying what you got to say and live it too. You know what I'm saying? But I understand, and this is quoted from him: people that do it by situation, not choice. I get that. It makes sense. Obviously, as long as you don't keep doing that and you have a plan to eventually stop what you're doing, that's cool. But when men just keep doing it for choice, when men just keep doing it to just think, you know what, I'm going to continue. Or girl, girl, let's keep doing it for, you know what, I'm going to continue. Like, like, what's in your mind? That's what I want to know. Like, what is in your mind? What you think you can do this bad shit? You think you can do this evil? You think you can do this garbage, this bullshit, this nonsense and think you're going to get away with it? Nah, man, you don't get away with that shit. Short term or long term, man. You might think you're winning for now, you might think you're winning momentarily, but that's all it is, it's just momentary win, man. You know, that's why you hide your face, that's why you do this, that's why you feel bad in yourself, because you know what you're doing is fucked up, you know what you're doing is not right, you know. I ain't telling nobody out here to be no goody two-shoes in life and shit, like the way you live and what you choose to do in your life, that's your choice, man. You understand where I'm coming from? But Kings is only speaking for the people that are actually down here and actually understand what time it is, because it gets fucking ridiculous, man. It's a fucking joke. 
Do you know what I'm saying, man? It's a fucking joke. These games have to end. Like, I went in and I'm going to put the link below on the three videos or two videos, I can't remember, of the previous speeches we've done in this topic. Yeah? So I don't need to go in too deep. But this one, this particular chapter of this speech is just basically about money shit. You know what I'm saying? Basically about where's the sharing at? Where's the love? Where's the respect out here? Is there any in the hood at the moment? Is there any? You know, no matter... This is basically for any hood. Any hood that you're from, innit? And they do the same bullshit. Any hood that you're from and they run around doing what they do. Because I guarantee that everywhere they've got the same old BS going on. Do you know what I mean? Like, is there any love? Is there any respect? Like... Is there, is there any of that? Are we going to keep doing this forever? Like, no rule talk. Are we going to keep tearing each other down? Are we going to keep fucking about? Are we going to keep basically just being idiots and jackasses? Like, are we going to keep doing that? Like, cause this is a new thing that's happening in this generation in 2015, fam. I'm sorry to say, like, 2015 is the most unique year, man. It's the mo- most unique year for bullshit. Like, I don't care if you hate me for this, man. If you see me in the street, you can approach me. You can have a conversation with me. You can you can do what you want. If you have a physical problem, then whatever, take it. It doesn't bother me. I don't care. I'm still going to keep doing what I do, man. Because this is the right thing to say. Because, man, know about this. This shit affects people. This shit hurts people. Do you understand where I'm coming from? I ain't talking about it like I'm no goody two-shoes and that. It's not even that. I just know that this kind of shit here, you just don't do. Like, where's the level of respect? Like, no matter... How much you dislike for someone or how much love you have for someone, you always got that respect level. There's always a certain level of respect as a man or woman that you gotta have out here. And you gotta have, you know, it's this it's, that's one thing you get. You get you get you get um taught with as you're growing up, you know. Respect goes a long way. You know, it's universal. Six, you know, it lasts longer than attention, so I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't have to go in too deep anyway, cause it's just YouTube and SoundCloud. So you know, I'm not gonna go in too deep. But you know, people that go through this. You know what I'm talking about. You know. Just think back to your past experiences or whatnot. I'm not going to too deeply share my personal life experiences and whatnot. Obviously, bit by bit, gradually. But, you know, I'm not all going to share it in one video because there'd be no point for that. Or one audio speech because there'd be no point for that. But think back. You know what it is. You know what I'm talking about. Trust me. So any nigga or waste man that's listening to this or dickhead that, that, that does this shit... And he's hearing what I'm saying right now. Fix up, man. Stop the bullshit. Stop the games, car. Come on, months are going by, years are going by. Your money will not be consistent if you keep coming out here, robbing the people, keep playing with the people, keep playing games. You, you will not be consistent. You will only fail. You understand where I'm coming from? Your stack will not be large because it's, it's not going to get... If you keep fucking about and doing what you do, there's only so many people that's going to fall for the games before people are going to realise, right? So then, like, that's you going to be finished, one. Two, you probably will get yourself killed for the crap you're pulling, innit? Because a man will not have that at some stage. And a man will find you. A man will sort out the situation. You know what I'm saying? What goes around comes around. You fuck around with somebody for no reason. Then someone's going to do exactly what you did to them. Plus maybe worse by tenfold. Just know what time it is really and truly man. That's me signing that. I'm not going to go too deep. I don't feel that going too deep. Because that's moment I'm calling this shit at night. You know what I mean? But. Just wanted to let that out there, let you know that RK is still out here, still relevant, still doing what we do. Future music will be out on the page. Season 4 speeches will be coming out. When I'm putting this video, they're not out yet. You know, they'll be out very soon. Just just keep watching, keep looking. Rex is out here. You know, Wai has his own thing, he's out here. You know, go check him out. Wai Entertainment, YouTube, SoundCloud, he has his own shit. Go check him out here. RKA page, you know where to find us. We're, you know, keeping it um, stiff and steady. We out here, man. Just know this, man. If you hate me, fuck off, man. I'm going to keep doing what I do. You can't stop me. Real talk, man. There's only one thing that can stop me, man. And it's not you. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a shit what you try to do to me, what you say. It doesn't mean nothing. Like, I'm still doing what I do. You know what I mean? Like, if it's a problem, like, it'll be dealt with. Like, real talk, man. We can have a conversation or it will be dealt with. Like, it's whatever. I just don't give a shit. You know what I mean? I really don't.